Hello, I'm Dr. Omar Malik and welcome to Med Simplified. Back when I was a medical student, we studied a lot of bacteria, viruses and fungi in great detail. From the structure of these pathogens to the diseases they cause, the peculiarities they have and the treatments we use for the disease they cause. Ironically, I never thought that a very short and insignificant paragraph of 4 to 5 sentences in one of my books would become the most debated and feared topic in the 21st century. That topic was coronavirus. In the past few weeks, there has been a resurgence of new COVID-19 cases in few countries, mainly the United Kingdom. Early in the pandemic, few scientists were worried and expressed their fears that the coronavirus would mutate into something more dangerous. Unfortunately, in November 2020, that fear was confirmed when the first variant of the mutated virus was discovered. The newly discovered variant was known as the COVID-19 B117 and that was associated with a huge spike in cases in Southeast England and London. So in this video, we'll be talking about COVID mutations and what it means for us. So let's begin by taking a brief look at mutations and how they happen. In biology, a mutation is anything that leads to a change in the genetic material. The same genetic material which is responsible for each and every aspect of a cell's existence. Genetic material controls how a cell grows, works, acts, reacts and eventually dies. These mutations can happen for several reasons. It can happen because of errors, damage by radiation or by chemicals. In fact, mutations even occur randomly. So mutations may be bad for the organism, may be neutral or may be even beneficial for the organism. So you may be wondering how mutation affects COVID-19. Well, COVID-19 uses a special protein to attach to our body cells. These proteins are known as spike proteins, which help the COVID virus to latch onto our cells and initiate the infection. Mutations in these proteins are helping the virus to bind more tightly to our cells, making it more infectious. Also, mutations in this region allows the virus to evade our body's own immune system effectively growing unrestricted. This mutation that is keeping scientists awake at night has been termed E484K. On 1st December 2021, UK reported a total of 14,000 cases a day with a declining trend. And after this train, on 5th January 2021, UK was reporting a record high of 60,000 cases per day with an increasing trend. The new strain has been found to be more contagious than the previous ones. Even the CDC said that multiple lines of evidence indicate that B117 is more efficiently transmitted than the other SARS-CoV-2 variants. Researchers from UK Biobank found that most people infected with COVID-19 keep the antibodies for 3 to 6 months. However, if you come in contact with another strain of the virus, such as the highly contagious variant from the UK, your antibodies may not be able to protect you and the doctors believe your rate of reinfection could be high. This is worrisome, as this can increase the reinfection rates of coronavirus, especially in critically and chronically ill patients. What does this mean for us in the present? For the time being, things are looking up. The world seems to have understood the importance of tackling swift and decisive action. As soon as the news of new strain broke, countries closed foreign travel, especially from United Kingdom. As far as the people who had already returned, they and their respective contacts were traced, placed into quarantine and promptly tested. Even countries like India, where over 10 million people have been affected by COVID already, have successfully controlled the spread of this foreign strain. Well. Here things are a bit fishy. To find the effectiveness of the existing vaccine options against a new strain, studies were carried out in New York, Texas and Cambridge. They tested the antibodies of newly vaccinated citizens against a new COVID-19 strain. Their results showed that while the effectiveness of the vaccine to prevent against the variants carrying the E484K mutation was slightly reduced for some people, it was still within an acceptable level. It is worth bearing in mind, however, that the above studies are based on a very small sample of numbers and any conclusions are not definitive. This mutation is a peek into the possible future. A future where COVID brings out newer surprises and uncertainties. We are yet to understand the long-term consequence of this pandemic. Another mutated strain may not be far away. But on the positive note, all hope is not lost. We have new knowledge and previous experience to prepare ourselves. We have a worldwide mass vaccination program coordinated by companies all over the globe and supported by governments that can potentially solve this problem for good. We are researching drugs, newer therapies and alternative medicine to decrease the burden. 
Governments are actively taking steps such as mass media campaigns, social awareness, increasing health expenditure and coordinating with scientific experts to eliminate this disease. So friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below to support us. You can also support my simplified by clicking the join button below or by joining our page at patreon.com. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.